हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक अनिल अंबानी बैन फ्रॉम स्टॉक मार्केट फॉर फाइव इयर्स बाय सेबी आई एम डॉक्टर भरत चंद्र पर्पज ऑफ द वीडियो इज फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी सेबी हैज बार्ड इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट अनिल अंबानी एंड ट्वेंटी फोर अदर एंटिटीज इंक्लूडिंग फार्मर की ऑफिशियल रिलायंस होम फाइनेंस फ्रॉम सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट फॉर फाइव इयर्स for diversion of funds from the company sebi has imposed a penalty of rupees 25 crore on ambani and restrained him from being associated with the securities market including as a director or key managerial personnel in any listed company also sebi barred reliance home finance from the securities market for 6 months and levied a fine of rupees 6 lakhs on it sebi said its findings have established the existence of a fraudulent scheme planned by Anil Ambani and administered by the manager and personnel of Reliance Home Finance Limited to siphon off funds from the public listed company the company's money was given away as loans to credit unworthy conduit borrowers and in turn to onward borrowers all of whom have been found to be promoter linked entities promoter linked entities means people linked to Anil Ambani Although the board of directors of Reliance Home Finance had issued strong directives to stop such lending practices, the company management ignored these orders. This suggests a significant failure of governance in Reliance Home Finance. The company itself should not be held fully responsible since individuals were involved in the fraud. Reliance Home Finance had approved loans worth hundreds of crores to companies that had little or no assets. cash flow network or revenue eventually most of these borrowers failed to repay their loans causing reliance home finance to default on its own debt obligation this led to the public shareholders making huge losses on their investment for example in september 2017 reliance home finance share was around 109 by march 2020 as the awareness of the fraud became public the share price had crashed to just rupees 0.75 today it is around 4 rupees 45 paisa and could fall further in the coming days since it has circuit limit of 5% only and hence it could fall by only 5% although the share price would have reacted even more negatively if there was no circuit limit there are still around 9.6 lakh shareholders in reliance home finance who might be in huge losses apart from fine of rupees 25 crore on anil ambani other key official reliance home finance amit bapna has been fined rupees 27 crore and rupees 26 crore on ravindra sudhalkar and rupees 21 crore on pinkesh shah the remaining entities have been fined rupees 25 crore each such as reliance unicorn enterprises reliance exchange next limited reliance commercial finance limited reliance clean gen limited reliance business broadcast news holdings limited and reliance big entertainment private limited these fines have been levied for either receiving the illegally obtained loans or acted as the intermediaries to facilitate the illegal diversion of funds from rhfl in february 2020 itself sebi had passed an interim order and restrained reliance home finance limited anil ambani and three other individuals amit bapna ravindra sudhakar and pinkesh arsha from securities market till further orders for allegedly siphoning of funds from the company so one more big blow for anil ambani image and future It's surprising how mukesh ambani is going from strength to strength while anil ambani situation is deteriorating year by year and the video here is the question in india fines are still small compared to what is levied in usa and other countries do you think india should levy higher fines and penalties for such white collar crimes yes sir no you may type in case you are not the member of this channel this is the time to subscribe press the bell icon send the video to all your friends the video is good press the like button thank you for watching bye bye all the best